Yeah, he's been hanging out for a minute. I don't blame you for falling asleep. I'm oh. there, but... Yeah, there you are. What's going on, brother? Well, I, I just want to say, reporting in from California, you guys are doing a great job. You know, not all of us are here liberals, but <laughs> we all care about you guys. You know, stay safe. Don't let other people discourage you from what you're doing. We believe in the Constitution, and we need to uphold it. We can't lose our motivation over little things, and we we can't allow people like this to push us this far. You know, get get our blood boiling, poke us in the eye, and do all this other nonsense and stuff. We have the moral high ground. You know, these people obviously lost their soul, just gave it to the devil, or whatnot. But just by you doing this, you've seen how many people are actually awake and aware of what the federal government is doing to its own people that we elect and put into office, people we count on to protect us. And as we've seen through those videos that, you know, not just the Bundy Ranch, but protests and all this, I mean, we're, it, it's coming to a boiling point. And, you know, and I'm all for peaceful protest. I mean, many people are, and, yeah, there's naysayers here, naysayers there. But, you know, we're, it's just it's coming down to it, you know. And why, why should we – one major thing I want to point out, I'm a parent. I have two children, and many people do too. But shall we sit here and ask ourselves this? Can we look our children in the eye and tell them that they're going to have less rights than we did? Or as parents, shall we want more rights for our children? Should we give them a better future, a sign of hope, to know that they can go down the street and, and, and feel a sense of security and safe and when they look behind them, they see a police officer or a politician, which would be rare because they they stay at their desk. But you know, feel safe. Why? Why with all this? Why with all this? Why? Why should we not accept anything less? Yeah, I, I completely agree with you, man. And that's exactly why we started this phone call again. Uh, you know, Absolutely. Cool yeah. you, guys, you guys are amazing. Call, uh, it turned into this. <laughs> um, didn't really expect this, but we're completely happy about it. And, uh, you know, we've got other groups that have chimed in from all over the country of various uh, uh, categories, so to speak, um, administrators of other groups, uh, media teams from other groups. Um, right. Nothing is Fox News yet, but, you know, we're still trying to, just work with Boots on the Ground and other people that are involved. Obviously, we're up until 4 a.m. Central. We started at 8 p.m. earlier today. Um, just another segment that seems to be working out really cool. And uh, you know, oh, can, and, oh, I'm, like, My name's right? Robert. I'm, in, I'm living in Riverside. Um, we have two bases that are in between here. Uh, one, uh, March Air... Uh, Air Reserve Base, and then we have Camp Pendleton. Um, just saying, I haven't seen any movement, no nothing. Um, usually on the roads most of the day, so just just throwing that out there and um, keep my eye out. Just watching. I mean, we get a lot of traffic from uh, uh, Thousand Palms. Oh, damn it, I forgot what it's called, but. Um, you used to get a lot of convoys that come up and down through here on uh, on the 215 and uh, uh, the I-15 North and also the 60s. Uh, everybody so, kind of keep the cameras at the ready because uh, at the info that we're getting in, we need to have verifiable. If there's a timestamp on a photo, tag me in it. Um, we're also using the uh, hashtag. I don't know if you do the Twitter thing, but they're using hashtag both before orders right now if you've got any Supreme Intel, uh, as far as pictures and video of actual movement, um, I need you to tag it in. I've got somebody else now that's been helping me out and then tagging me in those photos that are coming up at hashtag oath before orders. And, uh, you know, feel free to tag me in those photos, guys, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. There's, there's a lot of stuff popping up all, all over the Internet right now. I, I can't go anywhere on Facebook without seeing 
send my private messages right now, so I'm trying to coordinate and uh, assist. But uh, I appreciate you chiming in, man. Anything else you want to finish with? I got to move on. I got a couple of people. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I hope to see you guys out there tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, today, since it's 2 a.m., but you know, hopefully, I see you guys later on today. Uh, we're going to try to make it out there with uh, a lot of good friends of mine. Uh, show some solidarity and um, thank you guys for all the info and stuff and bring some water and supplies. Hang on, Stan, yeah. brother. You uh, just graduated yourself to your boots on the ground. Uh, you're definitely heading there tomorrow? Yeah, oh, actually today, 2 a.m. again. <laughs> We're both uh, right. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I've been at this for a while, and uh, forgive me. Um, I'm going to actually hang on to your number. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie you in the boots in the ground. Uh, got a couple people that have been giving comments. Do you mind me keeping you in there? Uh, we might have to contact you tomorrow, especially if you're going to be on scene, or at least we can call back and jump back in when this goes back up uh, tomorrow and uh, let us know what's going on. I'm, I'm hanging on your number. Is that all right? Yes. All right. Um, I'm going to probably send you a text in a little bit with the rest of the comms guys so uh, you guys can stay in communication and uh, boots on the ground as well. We'll be getting a hold of you, okay? You got it. I appreciate yeah, you, man. Hey, uh, God bless. If you, don't mind, if you don't mind, can I get your first name, sir? Robert. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah, you said that earlier. Just wanted to verify. All right, 10 4, man. Um, Got one more anonymous so, uh, and uh, thing real quick. I know you got to move on. Anybody in Riverside, <clears throat> um, go on to uh, what is it uh, Bundy Ranch Resistance Transportation. Um, you're gonna have a post up there if you're within. If you're in Riverside County, Orange County, or San Diego, uh, I can possibly help out. I can fit three people in my vehicle. Uh, if anybody wants to do that, um, I think there was Patriot Patriot uh, Patriot Underground uh, has a Facebook page sir, uh, where people can post uh, where they're willing to go back and forth to. Okay. And uh, luckily, uh, one of my faithful colleagues uh, just texted me. Uh, and I appreciate that, MJ. Again, thank you. Um, yeah, so if you can get to uh, Patriot Underground, that's a, a, a site on Facebook. There's a lot of people offering ride shares and such as that. Feel free to chime in, okay, man? Uh, what was that again? Patriot uh, Patriot Underground on uh, Facebook is offering uh, to post up anybody who wants to, you know, offer rides back and forth, things of that nature. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of bartering going on for people that can do that. 10-4. All right, good buddy. Uh, appreciate you, man. I'm going to open up. Anonymous, you are in the now. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What can I do for you? Hey, man. What's going on? Uh, just wanted to say I uh, appreciate what you guys are doing out there. Um, I'm here in Western Nebraska right now. I've been following it all day. Been on for two and a half hours now. I, I I saw something on Facebook that said something about they boots some somebody that boots on the ground. So. Uh, uh, Russian Russians in the BLM uniforms. Have you heard anything about that? Uh, a couple of people have stated that uh, a handful of them look like they're of foreign descent. You know what I'm assuming is, uh, you know, like has been kind of stated earlier that most likely they're, uh, you know, I, when I say contractors, I don't want to freak people out and say, "Holy shit, Blackwater's on this," because that was said earlier. And then you know, all you saw on Facebook was Blackwater's. Well, that was Peter Santilli. So. Yeah. He's, yeah, Peter Santilli kind of, said that. Yeah. We need to kind of chill out on, on, on that kind of intel. All, all we can confirm is that, you know, there are some people that uh, do have that look, you know, uh, man, and I hate to say it like that, that do look of uh, Middle Eastern descent that may not, you know, be American if they're not speaking back. You know, uh, you know, when it says your name is Jones on, on the name tag, and obviously your last name is most likely not Jones, um, you know, it's right. based on my broad suspicion. Uh, again, again, right now I'm not totally confirm how many of those people there are. Just based on what I've been told is, uh, you know, BLM was falling short of personnel uh, due to the increased fluctuation of uh, people going to the site, and uh, they just wanted to get who they could as fast as they could, and unfortunately uh, some other people, you know, fell into the situation. I can't say that they're, uh, you know, blue hats or not, and, but uh, obviously they are also a foreign descent. Now, you know, that being said, 
we have plenty of military that are of various races, creeds, and kinds, so I don't want to point too many films. Absolutely. But it, it seems like this, uh, you know, the situation is coming from above and out of the country. Uh, there is some, obviously, a uh, mil- military uh, uh, intent along this chain of command that's causing all this situation, but uh, some people are pointing towards it. It feels like a lot of outside uh, of the country type eminent domain, you know, I'm sure Hillary's got her hands in this somewhere, um, based on some of the last few visits, uh, few visits she's made over the last year or so. So, uh, you know, it's getting a little weird, you know. We can only go by boots on the ground, so if, if you can keep passing the word and finding more people that are going to be going there uh, to chime in on this call, that's the best we can do is, uh, you know, keep relaying that kind of data. You know, if, if somebody sees a helicopter, you know, get it on a picture, get a timestamp, help us out instead of saying, hey, I saw a bunch of Apaches headed there. I was freaking everybody out. We need, like, hardcore, you know, uh, verifiable right. type intel right now, man. Anything else you wanted to add? Sorry about that. Um, uh, no, that was good stuff. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, I've, I've been following. I live out here in western Nebraska. You know, I, I heard that guy that talked about working for BNSF. I also work for BNSF. I've actually shot you a couple messages, too. But, um, you know, I, I, get- I verify. Up, up here, I've seen that military. And I've also lived right next to Colorado. I'm three and a half hours from Denver. And uh, they all they talked about is, that, and it's been confirmed, actually, that there's been swarms of Russian troops moving into Colorado. And after all those fires, you know, there's, there was reports of 200,000 Russian troops right in Colorado. So when I heard that, it kind of made sense, you know, and then I hear about, and then I read, and I've been researching this for the past couple of years, all the foreign land and all the, all the mortgages, the, more, the mortgage-backed debt that China owns on us right now, and then seeing this Harry Reid and then China buying this land, it all kind of made sense, you know, and then when our open borders, how do we know who's who? How do we know who's throwing on them uniforms, who's out there, you know? And then I, I watched, the, I listened to Alex Jones today, and he was talking about how do we know they ain't implanting their guys into the militia to take the first shot and make us look like the bad guys? How do we know? And how do you defend against that? Do you know those guys that are boots on the ground right with you? You know what I mean? Right, and, and we're, we're highly recommending people that if they've got the capability to videotape and things of that nature um, to be doing so as often as possible at all times um, there to kind of keep an eye on the situation. It, you know, when there's lots of cameras around, a lot of people uh, are uh, usually not apt to be that guy, and uh, that's what we want to avoid is that guy, you know, cool. um, Obviously, nobody wants any issues. We're hoping to get it stand down on both sides. Stalemate, stalemate, everybody go home and uh, let's call it a night. And while we kind of defuse that situation, um, as of right now, Priority One is to do whatever the ranchers want us to do We're on their property. If they say chill out and come as peaceful protesters, everybody headed that way should be a peaceful protester. If you happen to have arms with you, make sure they're legal arms and you're transporting, uh, you know, without getting yourself in trouble. Absolutely. All right, hey, I, know. I just wanted to point out, I've, I've been sitting out here in western Nebraska wondering what, how do I join my local militia, you know, and, and I, I, I did some more research today, and I finally found them the 37th Nebraska Volunteer Militia. I went and applied, and I'll know within 20, 72 hours, and uh, I'm looking forward to joining the militia and being part of the, the you know, standing for the Constitution, standing for our freedom, and uh, and, and um, standing against tyranny, and uh and I applaud every one of you out there. I wish I could do I got six kids at home right now. I am not able to get out there, but I, it's burning my ass not to get out there right now. You know, and oh, we understand, man. We all understand. Keep it up, guys. I appreciate you chiming in, man. And uh, you sound like a really good guy. All right, hopefully, you stay in touch with me. You sound like really good people. Will do. All right. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Oh, yep, you got it, buddy. Oh, yeah. uh, 618, good code. 618 area code, you were sitting in the queue for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I got a question. Um, you seem to get this, uh, the, your, your number out uh, pretty well. Just curious if there's like a like a militia web network where everybody can communicate. Um, I mean, I know there's various militias between state to state. Some have six, some have a couple, you know. Is there, you know, one network that everybody kind of uses? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and resort to what we always say at work is GTS, bro, Google that shit. Um, if there's well-regulated uh, American militias, is a very popular uh, society. 
Um, they are not a militia, but they created a network and a hub for various groups that would like to uh, coordinate with like-minded individuals in any given region. Um, there's the Watchman program. There's uh, other, you know, avenues such as Facebook and uh, ning ning.com. If you go to Ning and type in your state and type in, uh, you know, the word starting with an M that I just mentioned. <laughs> uh, you're going to go ahead and cross-reference that with your region, and I'm sure you'd find something. Then, um, you know, it's a good question. You know, everybody should have been doing their research a while back. I apologize. You know, for Kind of being curt, I, I've been in, involved with my group for going on seven years, I think now, um, something like that. You know, yeah, and uh, you know, I, oh, and too no, bad I, didn't I understand. There. There's there's a, if there's nobody out there, I'm going to try to start your own. Man, you know, everybody is already of militia. If you're an American, uh, if you were born here, or if you have become a legal alien, uh, you're pretty much militia. It's just up to you to contact people. Uh, Oh, no, I mean, I, I've gotten contact. I'm saying, as far as you know, between militias themselves, contact you know, it, it's very minimal. Um, you know, even even in, in just the state level, um, militias you know don't seem to you know keep in contact with each other or you know any contact for that matter. You know, to some degree, I totally agree with you. Uh, as long as I've been at this, uh, you know, working in the uh, recruiting, you know, HR type position. The last four years, um, three or four years, uh, you know, it is a headache. You know, you got people that come in and come out, got different levels of paranoia backgrounds. Um, you know, a lot of people that we wish would chime in uh, from uh, various, uh, you know, armed forces or people that have taken a constitutional oath are quite apprehensive to do so due to the fact that there's so much uh, negative media hype, and we know that you know NDAA has taken any patriot and turned him into uh, the enemy of the state. And uh, yeah. I don't, you know, I don't think. I don't blame Patriots for kind of withdrawing here and again, but uh, now, is, now is kind of a time to shine. If you're not doing anything illegal and you've done nothing wrong, uh, you, you know, it, it, as long as you're not a freaking, you know, kid toucher, psychopath, murderer, burglar, yada, yada, yay, crackhead, um, you should be getting in touch with your local militias, uh, especially if you're pro-Second Amendment, especially if you're pro-freedom. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, militia is no longer a bad word. This is what's probably going to save this country if, uh, if we can help it. Mm -hmm. We need to, you know, again, uh, hot, uh, hotheads cause problems and, and, and civil, uh, you know, civil minds prevail. <clears throat> and that's, uh, you know, what we're trying to coordinate right now, man. I mean, nobody wants to be out and back down. We want to come in and, and, and follow, uh, you know, the instructions of, of the law of the land. And, and it, it, it comes down to showing respect for what these ranchers want, you know. And uh, you're on their property. You know, uh, Nevada's chain of command is, is a priority. Uh, we've got a couple of liaisons down there. Once you, if you can get on site, uh, you need to contact that chain of command. A lot of people are aware of who they are. But uh, right, as of right now, we're just trying to even verify who can even get in near ground zero at this point. And uh, yeah. there's a lot of conjecture there. So we've only got a couple of people on hold. So I'm going to actually uh, leave you on the call, bro. And then I'm just going to let this uh, next person chime in as well. And uh, we'll all three be on this call. Oh, where are you? All right, you just chimed in there, uh, 0348. You still there? You've been waiting patiently. Uh, last four digits, 0348. Szymanski, you want to help out? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, brother. I unmuted you. Hi, uh, my name is Matt. I'm calling um, just to tell you, um, I actually immigrated to this country when I was a little kid, and it's become my home. And uh, everything I've heard from my grandpa, he grew up in communist Poland at that time, or other socialist Poland at that time. And he said everything that happened over there, it's beginning to happen here. So it's definitely something that we want to watch out for. Secondly, something that I wanted to mention is everything that's going on right now uh, over there with the uh, with the police and if the military is there. During the Nuremberg trials, uh, a lot of Nazis said that they executed, they shot at people, they killed people because they were ordered to do so. Now, I just think that it should be a lesson from history if people are going to learn from that, that you are responsible for your actions, and whether it's in order or not, you are responsible for what you do. I uh, all 100% agreed, man. You know, like I said earlier, all we've got is our name and our word, and uh, hopefully uh, people that have taken an oath to uphold it in this Constitution um, stand down if they're given illegal orders, and uh, you know the, the other ones that have given that and, but are no longer of an authority figure uh, are standing strong to make sure that hopefully these guys do 
uh, stick to their oath and uh, if demands are coming out down, those are the people that need to be in question right now. Um, hopefully nobody fires, man. That's just pretty much our main goal right now is to just, uh, you know, untensify the situation when, uh, you know, a lot of things are really volatile right now. Yeah, the main goal here is not to have any, have a shootout or a revolution. The main goal here is for everybody to go home safe and sound. Preferably. Uh, other people would like it different, but uh, that just seems to be the most, you know, viable, uh, logical uh, option right now. So, you know, again, yeah. steady prevail, and there's a lot of hotheads headed out there. And uh, yeah, we've got to make sure uh, everybody keeps an eye on each other. And so they need to bring a couple megaphones down there as well and get that in front of the leaders so they can kind of get the word out. So if anybody else is headed down there, if you can run a radio shack or whatever and grab yourself one of those megaphones and get that to some of the people in charge, I'm sure that would be a very useful tool right now. All right. Thanks a lot for having me, and thanks a lot for doing this. Hey, no problem. I, you know, like I said, it just uh, it started on a whim. A couple guys having a conversation, and then uh, we started inviting all the right people. And luckily, there's a lot of patriots uh, in that network, and uh, you happen to be one of them. And uh, thanks for chiming in. Uh, hey, thanks. No problem. Else, yeah, no problem. If uh, anybody else wants to chime in, now is your time to shine. The, the the queue has been cleared. A lot of people dropped from the conversation they were holding for a while. So if you want to press star six right now, if you want to talk. Uh, you pretty much put yourself next in line. Um, 0348, that was just talking. I'm going to leave you on and uh, until somebody chimes in. And, uh, I'm going to actually open somebody else to this conversation. All right, like 10 people just jumped into the queue. So, uh, Perfect. I'm going to open. Uh, I'm going to keep you on as well, though. Is, is that cool with you? Yeah, it's fine by me. I just got off a 12-hour shift on an ambulance, though. So, yeah, but I've been listening oh, all this cool. time. You're, you're, are you an EMT, sir? Yes, sir. No, I, I, I appreciate what you do, man. Uh, I've made a lot of friends amongst your community, and uh, you know, God bless you guys for seeing what you have to see. My uh, let's see, step brother-in-law actually was an EMT, man, and I I saw what he's had to go through in his life, and it takes a special kind of person to put up that, you know, with that, and uh, you know, sacrifice. Well, I, uh, I love doing what I do. I get to help my community, and that's what it's all about for me. So absolutely, man. So m many props to EMTs, firefighters, and. Uh, any constitutional law enforcement out there, you know, you're in a certain position where you get to, you know, work with some of these uh, people of authority. And uh, hopefully uh, if you see them, you know, acting outside their capacity, don't be afraid to kind of call them out. And, uh, you know, that's not always looked, uh, it's sometimes frowned upon in that community, but it's time some of the good guys start speaking up for the rest of the good guys and uh, show that there's more good guys than there are bad guys out there and calling out the guys that are going outside of their capacity. Um, yep. I'm going to enter a couple more people into this uh, phone call. Do you still want, want to talk to me or do you want to talk to someone else? Because if you want to talk to someone else, you can totally let me go. Okay, bro. I, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But thanks for what you do, man. And uh, hopefully uh, hopefully, you somehow you stay in communication with me. I'd I like to see, uh, you know, as a patriot to patriot, you know, what you're doing, uh, what you're doing out there, man. And uh, it's a really good thing. Um, you know, feel free to let... Uh, some other EMTs that you're, you know, friends with uh, up on high, you know, chime in on this conversation. We love to hear from you guys, and uh, you know, you've got a certain mm -hmm. skill set, and mindset that we need to hear from as well. And during this uh, course of the next few weeks or whatever this turns into, okay? Sure. Uh, could you do me a favor and send me uh, a text to my phone number? I'd really like to stay in contact with you and other like-minded inv individuals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you actually, uh, Brian is my first name, B R Y A N, and if you actually. Uh, look up or Google even, free the people, all one word. Uh, I usually pop up um, on, on Facebook and my emails out there as well, but uh, you know, preferably, you know, Facebook and uh, for a while it's going to be these conference calls is going to be taking up most of my time uh, up until Monday right. morning. Uh, but uh, again, I'm trying to find someone secondarily that can uh, maybe help administrate this uh, tomorrow so I can get some rest in the near future. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move on to the next guy. It was a pleasure talking to you, brother. Thank you. All right, you got it. And uh, I got a couple people I'm opening up right now. All right. Let's see if that worked. Well, for some reason, I can't open a couple people up. Wireless call, caller 5135. 
Hi. Um, I'm curious if you could tell me, is there a place on the property where people are staying, a tent city sort of a thing? Uh, is there... I've, I've been hoping, I posted on that uh, transportation site, I'm hoping that Riverside uh, contacts me because I'm only like 12 miles away from there, Southern California, to go up tomorrow. And I have a lot of supplies that I could uh, donate. And last but not least, I heard somebody earlier comment about not everybody in California is liberal. And the problem <laughs> there being that it's not just liberals that are screwing things up, it's Every politician, every de what denomination of politics, um, they're all screwed up. And the people that lose are us. Am I talking too loud? No, you're okay, ma'am. Uh, rally point is approximately 9 a.m. that, that uh, I, what is that, uh, long time? Well, what time zone is that again? I'm sorry, I'm brave hard right now. I'm Whatever sorry, time what zone is in Nevada, 9, 9 o'clock Nevada time, a.m., there's a rally point. Uh, it's going to be at the main flagpole on the uh, no, no, no. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in San Bernardino, California. All right, all right. Where did you hear that? Did you hear that for, did you you for a ma'am? Did you just ask for a rally point at Ground Zero? Yes, trying to get there. Yeah, that would be the flagpole at 9 a.m. It's on the property. If you can get in uh, within a certain radius, uh, apparently some people may have been detained and uh, apparently they may be checking for guns um, and those people are the ones that they're giving problems right now. Um, if you're coming, right. uh, if you're sending anybody, they need to come as a peaceful protester uh, that just happens to have munitions in the back and they need to look up the laws of their travel paths as well as Nevada and make sure they're adhering to the laws so that they don't uh, incur any uh, uh, court costs and arrests and things of that nature. Anything else I can do for you, ma'am? Do you know anything about the arrangements for the protesters, where they're staying, um, things of that There's nature? Three campsites. There's three campsites on the ranch if you're already in the ranch or are able to get in the ranch. Uh, from that point, uh, we're not really sure what to recommend people. We had a, uh, within 10 miles, there was an Indian reservation that chimed in earlier that said that they were going to allow people to come that way if uh, they wanted some protection. But uh, they are closed right now and should be chiming in about five hours, but I don't know if I'm going to be on this call in five hours, so we're going to have to oh, do this no, again. you're probably tired. At, at 8 uh, p.m. Central, but... Uh, Thank you for all of, the, all of the work you're doing to keep us posted. This is really important what you're doing because, like I said earlier, we're the ones that lose in the long run. Everybody, not just any particular uh, political group. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that I've asked, and you've answered it more than adequately. I appreciate it. And now my job is to get my butt off of this couch, off of Facebook, to vetching, and get up there and be boots on. All right, ten four. Uh, feel free to call back if you if you do get in touch with boots on the ground, or if you become boots on the ground. Oh, and thank you so face. much, well, and you have a blessed out. evening. Oh, uh, you too. Uh, I really thank appreciate you. that. Bye -bye. All right. Uh, box five, you're on the call. 1253, box five, you're on the call. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hi. Ed, I just want to throw this out there at the very beginning. Any other 618 numbers that come through and or are still on this call, please feel free to call my number. I'll throw it out. It's 618-334-1253. And um, I, as a question was asked earlier, I do understand it was a gentleman was asking about uh, anywhere to like find local militias. It's actually more out in the open than most people think because my, my whole family right now, as it stands, is part of our more defense measured uh, militia. We have all of our supplies and are willing to hand it out I really wish it wasn't that far away because I do have to work uh, at noon or else I would be on my way. And anything else that anybody needs questions asked or anything, feel free to text me and just get into anything that you can because this is coming down hard from all points on our nation and it's going to turn out very badly one way or another. 
So uh, not necessarily, man. Not necessarily. There's a it, well. It, in that direction, it is a volatile situation, but there's a lot of good people involved, and there's a lot of people on the way that are trying to qualm and squash the whole situation. No, I, not this particular situation, just everything in general with the political aspects and the constitutional, you know, hoopla and all that. Oh, well, the encroachment has definitely been coming in, and, uh, you know, how's that working for us so far by, you know, voting and, and uh, just going along with the, uh, the ways of the people right now? It's just not. So any of us, you know, could totally agree to that. Um, there's a lot of freedoms and rights, and con- constitutional uh, Congress, is, you know, boundaries are, are are just being broken on a daily basis, man. It's just frustrating, and we understand that, you know, it's a cumulative boil. We feel like the frog that's in the pot, and they keep just turning up the heat. Well, they definitely take it up a couple notches, and uh, we see that happening, you know, and just kind of, uh, I don't want it to be the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back. It needs to be a situation that we handle like civil adults, you know, that have the technology capability and resources to uh, to get the right people in the right place at the right time and, and squash this as soon as freaking possible. But that's where I stand anyway. Some people might not agree, but uh, logically it works for me, and I, and I know a lot of people are on board with that. You know, we've had over a 1,000 people chime in over the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, and uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great thing. You know, it's turned into something really small, and it's turned into something into pretty big. And now we're going to continue to, continue to do this as often as we can <laughs> using the same participant codes and uh, same phone numbers. So uh, take advantage of that. I've got a couple people in line, Fox, if you, if you wanted to continue. Or uh, you mind if I move on to the next guy or what? Uh, completely up to you. I just, just uh, my militia, quote unquote. It's more of the Oath Keepers kind of thing, but not officially under that label. Um, out of Illinois. We're open to anybody as long as you're not, you know, trying to overthrow, you know, our government as, you know, it stands. So, you know, there's a, there's a really good resource. I'm not sure if you are aware, but uh, there is a group, the uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty. Are, are you familiar with those guys at all? Is that the group you joined up with? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? The uh, Illinois Sons of Liberty? Yes, I, uh, I've actually been in contact with a few of them, and... We, the few that I've been in contact with, have uh, cross-referenced some uh, subjects with my people and as well as my Ohio, you know, people that have been under our label but have since, you know, moved locally. And uh, that they pretty much want to help as much as possible. And anything I need, they said they'll help me with. So, so let me differentiate. Are you Ohio or Illinois? I'm sorry. I have family in Ohio that does the same as well, and then I have my section in Illinois. All right, ten four. Definitely get a hold of the Sons. Uh, if you actually uh, go, go there uh, via web uh, at IllinoisSonsOfLiberty.com, um, All right. you can actually fill out the attached form so that people know who you are and you'll be contacted. You're going to want to go ahead and find your county, and uh, that'll be your division, and uh, those guys will be more than happy to help you out. They're going to fill you out. You need to show up at, uh, at least a couple of meetings before they introduce you to the uh, full training exercises and uh, you know, just keep everything legal, man. It's kind of weird knowing right. right now. Oh, um, everything's legal here, trust me. <laughs> I've already cross-referenced with all of my police buddies and everything, so. I, I highly recommend that if you, if you travel down that rabbit hole, uh, rabbit hole as I'm recommending, uh, once you ask the right people and you meet them personally when the time comes, just go ahead and uh, try to get a hold of Wolf, okay, if you can remember Wolf. Right. Yeah, you're going to want to get in touch with him in the near future, okay? Yep. All right, appreciate that. I'm going to move on to the next caller, brother. Thanks for calling it. All righty. Thank you. All right, I'm trying to get this weird email on. I, all I can say is, Chad, are you on? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, man, you came in earlier and you've been waiting for a long time. I apologize. Do you mind me asking what method you're using to uh, get into this phone call? Um, I'm actually using the Android client for your uh, for your provider for the conference call, and I'm coming in uh, as a VOIP instead of dialing the main number. All right, ten four nine. I just needed to verify that it, you were on earlier, and I could not get you uh, into the queue for whatever reason. Your icon is different than everybody else's, and uh, I, I apologize for that. But uh, for some reason, you, you got in this time, and what can we do for you? Anything you wanted to add? Um, well, um, I can't make it 
uh, over to Nevada, but uh, I'm interested in helping. Uh, just for your FYI, um, my ham radio uh, operator and a computer nerd by trade. So if I can. Uh, okay, Ted, 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 do me a favor, brother. Are you on speakerphone right now? I'm on Bluetooth. I meant to ask you about that. Is my audio bad? Yeah, do you mind killing one of those and just going in raw? Uh, you're getting some weird uh, red lining on your end. Okay, how about now? Uh, it's a lot better. Uh, uh, it sounds like an echo. Okay. <clears throat> Is it any better? Uh, it's a lot better. Are you out of something from sort of static or water running in the background? Um, no, it's it won't go to my normal headset for some weird reason. I took you off Bluetooth and you're on speakerphone now, so. Um, all right, I'm going to let you slide on that for a minute. You sound like a cool guy. You've been waiting a while. Say what you need to say, bro, and I'm going to ask you to keep it quick. Okay, well, uh, I'm, I don't know if you caught, but I'm ham radio operator and a computer nerd by training. Um, <clears throat> I've been listening... You had an Oath Keepers uh, out of New York that gave some uh, ham radio HF frequencies earlier. Um, as I understand it, there was also talk of a repeater, ham repeater that may be, uh, they may be trying to use in the area around the ranch. And yeah, I, can't, I can't seem to verify the details on that uh, compared to what was passed on to me by somebody else. Um, All right. You uh, have yeah, I'm not. I'm not huge on the up and up. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to give you. Uh, in that case, uh, we've got a, a comms person that's been uh, trying to help out. We've got up to five main comms people that are uh, coordinating efforts. Uh, I'll start you off by giving the uh, repeater numbers. I, I can't verify like what frequency, but all I know is you're supposed to be looking for call letters KF5ZYG. And in that region, they're using a repeater, which is at 443.850. Okay. That's what was given to me, but I can't find it on any of the, uh, on any of the public databases that are listed for ham radio. So if he's using a portable one or something, I don't, I don't know. Um, I was hoping to find it to see if, since it would be local only uh, in that region, I was hoping that maybe it was an established uh, system that would have a feed on the internet somewhere that I could listen to as well. I was trying to find it. You there? Yeah, are you still there? Sorry, I dropped out, man. Where did I leave off? My uh, signal just killed. Um, you, well, hold on. Let me... Um, you, were, you gave me the uh, frequency and the call sign for the repeater, and I was just uh, commenting. I couldn't find that repeater listed in any of the public databases as being one that was established in the area. <clears throat> so uh, I was hoping to see if there was a... I was trying to look it up because I was trying to see if there was an internet feed to it that uh, might be able to listen to local traffic. But um, somebody did recommend earlier using uh, there's an application on your phones. Uh, it's a, a scanner program, scanner radio, I believe. Uh, okay. It's an application that you can use, and uh, a couple were shut down, but a couple were still working. Um, there was a report that they were running a lot of license plates. 
uh, especially out of staters. So if you're driving without lights and registration insurance or whatever that case is, or headlights out or all that nonsense, you go ahead and uh, try to get that fixed before you're heading out because uh, I don't think they're apprehensive at all at pulling people over at this uh, at this portion of time, considering the people that are heading out there. Yeah. Okay. And well, uh, I'm gonna make sure somebody gets your email here in the near future. Uh, Peter, I can't speak on the call, but uh, he was the last guy that chimed in, and hopefully he's still paying attention right now. Is is, is my email there on your screen or no? Yeah, I've got everything. Uh, Seven Eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay, um, and that, that's of course I got a smartphone like everybody else that'll that'll be mobile. I am a night worker though, so uh, don't expect uh, a whole lot of daytime responses. I I totally get it, man. Um, everybody's gonna have to go back to their daily lives if they can't make it out there, and uh, you know at least they know that they can use this as a resource. So yeah, feel free to let other people know we're here. Um, we're down uh, to about seventy-five people on the call. Our peak was damn near. 400 there for a minute and uh, died back down. Obviously, we're getting to the wee hours of the morning. I'm going to move on to the next guy if you don't mind, Chad. All right, man. Thanks a lot. May the force be with you. Uh, what is caller 9027? You've been holding for a good 10 minutes. Oh, I know caller 9027. You're on. we got five seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and re meet you. We can There you go. You still there? Well, I always call it nine zero two seven. Going once. You hear me? Oh I, wow, you just missed it by a go ahead, man. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm with Three Percenters out in Tennessee, and I thought earlier in the con at the very beginning of the conversation, um, are all the militias on the same level of alertness throughout the country? Do you know? Uh, some states have not signed in today. I'm not sure if they're aware of this call. Uh, we're trying to get people in those realms to get a hold of people. We don't know. You know, seven guys doesn't form a, a, a militia necessarily. Everybody is the militia, so... As right. far as those people that have, have gotten together and banded in, in unity, you know, there are some of those. Uh, upon last record, we're floating somewhere around the, the 20 mark, um, 20 states that have uh, pretty much raised their death count levels uh, over the last 48 hours, if not earlier. Um, maybe seven or eight states, if not more, have chimed in that I can verify that are sending people out there. But uh, as far as numbers and how many, we don't know. But uh, wow. we're just... We're just hoping cool people, you know, relax and, and realize that the call was put out by this rancher, uh, that he wants a peaceful protest into what's going on with this. Uh, it's turning out to be more of a, a land grab, if anything. Uh, so no, I'm 100% with you. Uh, all we can do is do is the locals do, man. Are you there? Yeah, yeah I apologize. Go ahead. Oh, um. Uh, the one thing that I did see on TV that um, I, I don't know if there's a reason for this, but on the flagpoles that you guys have raised, um, uh, one of the American flags is on the very bottom. Is there a reason for that? Uh, I can't confirm or deny that right now. Did you see a picture and you're saying that what, what's above the American flag? I'm uh, I'm not sure. Maybe the state flag on on. The left side, the American flag is on top, and on the right side, the American flag is on the bottom. There's three flags on each side. Uh, I can't confirm or deny that right now. Maybe somebody can start it in here. I've only got four people uh, waiting in the queue right now, so hopefully somebody okay, else well, can find me. I just wanted to get the message out to you, and I wanted you to know that we have your sticks out here in Tennessee. Hey, I totally appreciate that. Uh, that's awesome, Tennessee. Uh, I'm trying to think of Tal Talladega. No, that's, I'm, sorry. I'm trying to remember. Uh, no, I had some friends from Tennessee, and I can't think of the, the, the area right now. Well, what county are you in there? Um, I'm in East Tennessee. East Tennessee. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Alabama for a second there. That's why I said Talladega. But, uh, uh, right. No, I was. that's where my area code is. I'm, I'm, I was in West Tennessee, but now I'm in East Tennessee, and uh, uh -huh. I'm active out here. All right, cool. Just... Uh, all right, I appreciate you chiming in. It's good to hear some more uh, 
you know, females are wide awake and paying attention to what's going on. Hopefully you can get uh, some more gals on board if they want to chime in. We're going to be doing this uh, on and off for the next couple of days. So uh, everybody keep that number and keep spreading it out. We're using the same exact code. Well, I appreciate the, the communication between all the groups. Thank you. Yeah, 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 we're, we're trying here. Um, you know, guys will wake up. Uh, we're going to have this again at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time uh, later uh, after this cuts out. There will be some breaks, so definitely let people know. Uh, we exceeded uh, about 400 today. So we're hoping uh, you know, we've got a capacity of 1,000. And uh, we started up as an open forum for a while, and then we figured out the Q&A system, and this has been working all right. Although it's slow going, uh, at least people are getting a chance to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next guy, okay? All right. Well, thank you. Have a good night. Thanks for chiming in. Uh, next caller is uh, 6389. You're up. How's it going, brother? I'm better than some, worse than others. Never had it so good, but I'm kicking butt like the one-legged man in the top 50 Ha Haha, but you're going crazy at this hour right now. <laughs> well, uh, my name's Stephen, calling from California, L.A. to be exact, which is not a very fun place to live. Well, I was uh, commenting on how you were saying earlier about um, the local laws, you know, with guns and stuff and how you're supposed to be transporting them into Nevada. And Nevada is an open carry state, am I right? Uh, that's what we're being told, except for uh, there's certain rules. If you've got your uh, gun, it uh, can't be loaded. Um, there can be bullets in the magazine, but the magazine uh, cannot be in you know, an AR or whatever. I'm recommending shotguns not be loaded, either nor handguns at this time, uh, just so that they can't say that you know things went down a certain way. Highly recommending uh, if it's if anybody can actually look up the videotape laws, if you can videotape officers uh, without having some sort of federal freaking case, just trying to protect yourself using First Amendment. Um, if somebody could look that up and chime in in a little bit, that'd be great. I've got a lot of things going on right now. Feel free to chime in if you want to look up that law. Um, but that's one way to protect yourself right now. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm actually driving right now. I'm driving down to San Diego. Pick well, driving down to San Diego, then going to head over there. Got to pick up some buddies in San Diego. All right. Um, would you take an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, sir? Yes, of course. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that as your word, and uh, I'm putting you on the comms line uh, for Boots on the Ground. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, I'm actually, I think my buddies are ha uh, more than halfway out there right now. They're coming out from Utah. Can you put uh, more boots on the ground in this line? Uh, as of right now, you are nine. No, uh, so you're going to do, yeah, your, your boots on the ground nine, and uh, other people will be chiming in throughout the day, but I'm giving you the nine slot, and uh, I'm holding on to your number, which uh, I'm going to give yeah. to our call tree. And, so uh, I'm really in LA right now, so it'll about be a two-hour drive down to San Diego, and then from there, uh, then we figure out the drive's going to be. I've been working all day. 10-4, man. Um, I got a lot of notes here, so if uh, you don't hear from somebody by uh, about 8 p.m. tomorrow, p.m. Central, uh, I, want, yeah. I need you to chime in on the call. I'll, I'll remember your name. I wrote it down. I'm writing down your number. I'm going to promise to get that to somebody, but I can't 100% confirm things that are out of my control, which would be the next guy calling his next chain of command that we're creating as we go. Yeah, like I was on hearing, too, that uh, they might be cutting communications down there with, like, cell phones and everything. Uh, there was a rumor that uh, a couple of uh, services did go out for just a little bit earlier today, but uh, I, I believe they were just resetting the towers is what I, would, uh, I heard, and uh, comps have been okay for a while. They got internet and phone. Uh, we're definitely hoping to hear from the ranchers if somebody can uh, get them once their boots on the ground. We'd love to hear from them just to kind of have that on file for and, uh, uh, everything else. I also heard that uh, FSA had cut uh, flight plans, you know, can't fly over certain areas out there yeah. except for uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, That definitely came up. Uh, that's on lockdown, so you're right. If you're thinking about flying in that region, don't even try it right now. Um, so right now you're kind of flying. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah, well, one of my buddies out in Utah is bringing a little uh, drone plane, so <laughs> let's see how All that right. plays out. You recommend maybe they uh, not do that right now? And... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to also have you in communications with uh, Aircom. We've got a lot of guys that have some uh, in-the-sky capability that are uh, working together. Um, 
they might want to talk to you in the near future as well. Since you'll be there, okay. Oh. <coughs> Hold on. Uh, do you have an ETA, by the way, on that uh, comes nine? Say again. Sorry, I was coughing. Do you have an okay. ETA uh, when you will be boots on the ground? Do you have an estimated time of arrival? Uh, let's see, about it's about three o'clock right now. Hopefully by noonish. We're probably gonna miss nine o'clock because uh, it's a two-hour drive down to San Diego from Los Angeles, and then right. it's gonna be. You're going to have some time to get a hold of a gentleman by the name of Brian, who's actually the uh, liaison between the ranchers and some of the militia guys out there right now. Um, okay. Hopefully, we, if you can report to him right now. He's calling some shots, is what I believe, the rancher and then him. So uh, just be careful, you know, when, it, it, when you get out there, man. Uh, bring some extra supplies. Uh, looks like night vision is needed, so if you have any capabilities, extra batteries, a uh, variety of kinds. Uh, feel free to bring them water. There's always needed food. Yeah, that be nature. Supplies. If you've got anybody yeah. local that can pick out and uh, pack up the vehicle, um, you're just a peaceful protester, man, and uh, we, you know, we're going to need to communicate with you at about uh, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, you know, we don't, yeah, we don't want to bring any, uh, any of the firearms out until we get confirmation with, you know, command up there. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to recommend uh, trying to caravan and uh, keep munitions in one vehicle that stands down behind. Um, and then if you guys can stay in communication with that person, uh, that'd be great. But uh, as of right now, you know, I, I, it, the rumor was that some guns have been confiscated. Some people were arrested. Some people were let go. But, you know, with, with all the potentiality there, it would be a good idea to kind of not go inside the inner circle with weapons at this time. I'm, I'm going to just recommend uh, you can do what you want. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but uh, just for safety's sake, so things don't get yeah. confiscated, they don't get arrested. If you're up as people, protesters, you got a better chance, <laughs> most likely, of getting behind that line. That's why I, I was getting confused on the gun laws, because I've known I've gone out to Vegas, and you can legally open carry within Nevada. That's how I realize people that. are they're call, confiscating. And, and I realize that it, it seems more to the, uh, you know, if it. And I, Again, everything I'm giving you is perception, man. Take it as it comes, you know. But uh, yeah, so uh, perception is that it's illegal confiscation right now because Nevada is right. an open carry state. It, I, I highly agree with that. The fact of the matter is, if they're confiscating them because you have them and you're open carrying them uh, and you're wearing BDUs and you look like you're coming to come start some trouble, they're going to do what they're going to do. So I'm just kind of recommending if you come with them, I'd rather you not go through the altercation. If they let you pass as a peaceful protester, you've got a much better chance of getting there. And that way, at least if you're staying in comms with the uh, munitions caravan vehicle, uh, you know, you can call upon them if need be at some certain point in time. Hopefully that person's, uh, you know, got uh, four by 4 capability. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we got four by 4 trucks with us. Well, that's your munitions vehicle, guys. Um, you know, I, I'm not recommending, you know, and, and I'm hoping none of that actually goes down, but they're on standby. Oh, and, uh, we don't want anything to go down like that. <laughs> That's the last thing anybody wants. Exactly. For most, I don't want to go down. But again, you know, I'm we're hoping trying to more, you know. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping more of the, the political aspects of uh, politicians get involved and actually fucking put their foot down. That's kind and of what we're counting on. We need a lot of pressure. A lot of keyboard warriors need to be getting a hold of those, uh, you know, their congressmen and, and especially the locals and, uh, you know, getting a hold of uh, local politicians of all kinds, especially the sheriffs of every county surrounding, and uh, getting some support out here. If we've got a county that's uh, supporting it and, and the sheriffs are uh, deputizing these kind of guys that are there just there to protect, at least, you know, they can secure one angle of an area close by and, uh, you know, confirm that, that'd be great. Well, they should be mobilizing as uh, state troopers. After they should be mobilizing state troopers to actually come and intervene, put the barrier between the peaceful protest, and then... Uh, I'm, I'm just going to go with Supreme Court ruling. The uh, you know Supreme Courts have uh, ruled in the favor of the sheriff being the highest constitutional authority on the land. Uh, the people are sticking with them. If the right people are sticking with them, uh, this should go down fairly fairly well. Um, if it needs to happen, if these defects need to be removed, you know, my, my curiosity lies in what is the Bureau of Land Management? Is that necessarily a a federal 
actual entity? You know, is it a commercial enterprise? Do they actually have authority? It doesn't sound like anything but bureaucrats, and, and there's now some hired uh, you know, outside sources that are working with this group wearing their uniforms that are coming well, to help them. is a very, very well-trained group of men. Yeah, and obviously that's what's making everybody nervous. So, you know, you look at the source of the problem, and that's it right there. If DLM could just stand down, get this guy another, you know, time length to figure out what he's got to do so that, he, you know, it seems right now that they're trying to take all his resources away, obviously, and, uh, you know, that's what, why the people are coming to his aid. But uh, nobody wants any trigger happy, you know, shows coming in there and just, you know, tearing up the place at any time in the, you know, any future, to be honest. Uh, you know, it seems to be the overall consensus. But uh, I'm going to move on. we got a couple other people that are in the queue. Is that cool? Uh, yeah, that's actually one, one quick point. Um, I wonder if that gentleman from um, Riverside is still listening and that um, other... Uh, the um, lady who also was listening, she needed a ride, right? Um, I'm trying to refer to people to a uh, Facebook page called the Patriot Underground. Uh, Patriot yeah, Underground. Yeah, I was listening earlier. Just make sure to listen. Yeah, now. it's offering some ride share. So I haven't been there personally, I admit, but uh, if you want to get in there and, and offer that, um, at least a caravan together, it makes sense if you got some other, uh, you know, peaceful. Because uh, uh, I've looked, I've looked at it and I haven't seen anything posted on there. Really? Um, well, go ahead and be that guy. Yeah. Start it yeah. up. All right, move on, brother. All right, man, may the force be with you. I'm going to move on. I've got uh, only three people in the queue. If you want to chime in and say something, there's still uh, almost 70 people on this call right now. Uh, if you want to chime in, you can press star, uh, star six, and uh, it'll put you in the queue to say something next. I've only got a few people in there, so you won't be waiting very long. Um, uh, all right, I'll just uh, plug it back off the speaker and just keep on driving. Yeah, all right, come. Here comes nine now. There's going to be people getting a hold of you, all right, bro? All right. If you want, it, it, let's do this. Since you're on comms, can you mute out your phone and just, I can keep you unmuted so that way if you want to chime in, you can? Yeah. Go ahead and do that. And I'm going to be doing that to more people here. Uh, if any other uh, other comms guys are on the line, I'm going to go ahead and pull you in. If you can star six yourself in the queue. Um, once we talk to you, I can leave you on. You'll just have to meet yourself out. Um, I'm moving on to the next guy. And okay, I'm going to meet myself out um, Here's a funny one that just came up. LOL. All right, let's see if uh, that person wants to speak. You're unmuted. And say bye-bye. All right, we've got a wireless caller, 1021. I right, just opened up your line. One zero two one wireless. There you are. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. It's your turn, buddy. Hey, Brian. How you doing, man? I'm um, kind of getting tired, man. Uh, I haven't peed in uh, fourteen hours, and there's a whole bunch of mountain <laughs> through my veins. I'm right on my now. second coffee too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just had a couple things to add there, man. I'm in uh, I'm in Central Florida, and um, you know I've been keeping in touch with a lot of uh, people that are in, uh, you know, in touch with some in, inside people. Like uh, back on October 3rd, there were supposed to be some nuclear devices set off in South Carolina, Charleston. I don't know if you heard about that. I, I remember that floating, uh, floating around on some underground media channels. Uh, that couldn't be uh, totally confirmed or denied, of course, for such precarious of a situation. But during this purge, uh, you know, it's had, it had some odd timing with other things that have occurred out there. What else did you have to add to that, bro? Well, uh, I find it was true because I looked back on Facebook on uh, or, uh, YouTube, and I, I came up with a bunch of false flags, and Governor Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, he was giving a speech and said that um, uh, if we were messing with, uh, if we were going to get involved with Syria, the rebel uh, confusion over there, that he already received some intel on some uh, nuclear threats, and uh, you find out sort of some brigadier uh, uh, high-ranking officials were were fired, and they couldn't get reinstated because they were found mentally incompetent. 
one of them was the chief of nuclear weapons. And uh, this, this whole this whole shenanigan with uh, the Bundy ranchers kind of freaking me out, man. Being in South Florida, because uh, just weeks ago um, I was driving up here through. Uh, I live about an hour north of McDill Air Force Base. And uh, it freaked me out. I was driving home one day, and I'm a local musician here. And I seen all these, uh, you know, black op military vehicles. And uh, I live pretty close to the coastline. And I've been seeing a lot of activity. And uh, just really, I mean, I don't know what to do about it. Um, you know, when you see thousands of uh, black op uh, Jeeps, Hummers, box trucks, and then, and then I've seen them uh, coming through the Midwest there, um, like one gentleman said about the Russians, um, you know, driving all these vehicles through the Midwest when we simply don't need to have those vehicles out there. And uh, I talked to a couple of my friends uh, that live in Nevada area, and they're bunkering down, and they are going to you know, be on the ground there tomorrow. And... Uh, I don't, I, you know, what can I do from Florida, you know? Uh, you know, really the best you can do, we, you know, we always could use some researchers as things uh, come up. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've got a lot of guys that have uh, internet and computer capability. Um, this call's probably going to drop down here in the next uh, hour, within the next hour, and then continue on tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, right. Did, you know, there's a lot of things that have come up. Any other reports that we can get, if anybody can get contacts with boots on the ground, um, if anybody can get in contact with people headed there and uh, try to get an idea of, you know, if are they are they stopping people right now? Uh, you know, can we find another rally point outside of this zone? Apparently where, uh, you know, there's uh, been some issues uh, based on people calling in saying that, you know, some people have gotten pulled over and arrested and uh, guns confiscated. You know, we, we can't totally confirm those things until we have somebody said, dude, I just got out of jail, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, uh, everything else is just, you know, some sharings on Facebook. And, you know, when you go back to the sources, nobody can say, hey, uh, I can confirm that. So there's, there's a lot of conjecture out there. Really. It's hard to pinpoint anything right now, to be honest. Well, to add about the communications on the militias and um, all the people that want to uh, protest and, you know, people bringing supplies and all, um, the, uh, yesterday morning, um, I researched and found there's a virus called heart blood that, um, uh, it's, uh, evidently, uh, it's on, it's a virus that's, you know, some hackers, you know, was nothing new, but this has been going on for several, you know, several months with the intel and the government that can intercept, uh, your bank account and, uh, and all kinds of communication, as we know, everything from your smartphone and whatnot. Um, but this is, this is running rampant, and they just said to everybody, change your passwords and all. Um, and I, I used to eat dinner with a retired CIA, CIA agent you know, years ago, and uh, you know, he told me some pretty intellectual things about what you know what can be done and what can be done. Um, my my uh, reason I called is I want everybody out there to be vigil but calm because I really do feel with the knowledge I have and the intel that I collected from some from some really really good resources that uh, there, there's definitely an agenda we all know that but there there's one thing that I'm, I'm really curious about specifically um, I found that there was, in the past 20 years, they've been harassing farmers. There's been about 50 ranchers out there in that area. I watched a short video of a man out there that had a ranch out there for 20 years, and he says they've been destroying that property out there. So my, my, my whole long short is there's something in that in that whole perimeter of that area out there that the government wants, um, whether there's something underground or whether they're, they're just, they want to do something with that property. Um, and I don't feel that protesting and uh, deliberately, you know, uh, keeping everything calm is really going to resolve everything. I don't mean to be, um, I don't mean to be really 
negative about the whole subject. But, you know, with the intel that I do have and the knowledge I have, I really don't feel that this is going to be good. And uh, I pray that everybody, you know, this thing does turn out the way it should turn out. But, you know, the, the cards are in the deck, man. I think it's what, it's, what they're doing is the agenda is for them to provoke um, the militias to come out of the come out of the woods, to come out of the woodwork. Uh, um, I really do feel strong about the the provocation of um, you know the citizens, and uh, you know with with all the with all the things I've seen here in South Florida, and I've talked to people out west that live out there. Uh, it's just uh, it, it's not going to be a sunny day. In other words, Brian. Uh, I, I'm agreeing with you there, brother. It's, uh, it's just a volatile situation, and again, the big reason why this got started was is we just wanted to not only find boots on the ground, but find other people that feel the same way as you and I do, obviously. So, I'm, I'm glad you chimed in, man. I know you held on for quite a while, but uh, I appreciate everything you just had to say. It, uh, yeah, one other weird thing I wanted to add, you know, the, well, I mean, the whole thing about cows grazing in fields and turtles, I mean, what kind of shit's that? I mean, we got borders that are uh, protected for so many years, and you got patriots down there on the retired veterans trying to protect the borders, and, you know, it just, it's all in black and white. And, and I, I'm trying just to tell you, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be negative at all, but just, you know, I, anybody that's out there or going to be out there, just please be visual, but please, um, you know, remain calm and uh, if need be, you know, protect yourself because from what I've seen and what I've heard, you know, to me, to, to me, this is just a come across the line, you know, kind of deal. So I just want to give all this, all this, all the patriots, all of all the protesters and everything. It's a little blessing, man, because um, without without uh, faith, you don't have nothing, man. So, uh, good, good looking on, Patriot, man. I, I appreciate you chiming in there. Uh, you sound like a good cat, man. Keep doing what you're doing, and just uh, keep spreading the word that we're here, trying to coordinate and uh, you know get as many people as we can on the same page. Uh, again, it's going to start again uh, sometime at eight o'clock central tomorrow, most likely. All right. Uh, you are on line nine six four three, Conley. Yes. Go ahead, Chief. Um. Okay. You said you're from Ohio, right? Uh, not me personally. I'm the host of this call. My name is Brian. Um, I'm actually uh in Illinois in the burbs. Well, um, if there's anyone going out there coming through Ohio or going from Ohio to Nevada, I know a couple of people that's willing to go. Uh, we're referring any call share, or, sorry, ride shares over to a uh, Facebook page, uh, Patriot Underground. I already, I already liked it. I heard you talking about it during a conversation. Whenever, and yeah, cool. We just need people to start up the banter, man. So if you want to offer that ride publicly, uh, feel free. Um, hopefully, other people that you know are heading that direction, or whatever the case is, are willing to caravan up. That's what's important right now. Uh, okay. You know, if we're um, going to head up that way. You know, we can't turn them around or tell them not to. Everybody's their own man. If you want to show support, just make sure you're coming as a peaceful protester. We do not recommend coming out and full battle rattle at all. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying there. Um, is there any confirmed? How many? Is there a confirmed report of how many militia are in the Nevada area at the ranch? Uh, we we had in in the fluxes of the 200 mark, uh, 150 to 200 mark. Um, I'm not really being that conservative because we just don't honestly know, man. We're trying to get people to send word out to boots on the ground and people that are headed there to chime back in and, and report that back to us. Um, okay, because I've heard reports of like 5,000 militia showing up, and I've not seen any confirmation to this, and I'm wondering if this was misinformation, or like purposeful in misinformation, or what's going on there. Uh, I would have to say stay tuned, men, and, uh, you know, uh, all we can do is when we got guys calling in saying there, I'm there right now, I'm counting well over 5,000 people. We can't only take that to heart. Last report was floating around the 150, 200 mark. That's all I can confirm uh, based on there were boots on the ground. Now, you've got some outside sources that are trying to assist some locals that are now chiming in, but uh, obviously we're into the wee hours right now, and some people broke loose. We were up to 400 people earlier. 
and uh, or well, almost 400 people. And uh, uh, like I said, we, we can't really confirm anything until there's people verifiable area codes. And even then, you know, who's working for who right now? And uh, you know, what kind of conjecture is, is being put out there? Anti-information, disinformation, the wrong information we thought was the right information. And, uh, and a lot of people chime in based on conjecture, and we just don't know right now fully how to answer that question. Uh, you know, without swaying the minds of whoever's been on this call, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Um, all we know is approximately around 200 last report, and uh, we know people are headed out there, so that can grow very quickly. But uh, those numbers we can't Mitch. count on right now. So we've got actual boots on the ground that chime in on this call in the near future. And that looks like one of those guys might be you, am I correct? What's that? Are you heading there or no? Um. We are trying to figure out a way to get there currently. All right. Well, uh, do me the favor, man. If you find that ride and anything works out for you, can you chime back in uh, after 8 Central tomorrow and let us know if you're headed that way and keep us updated on what's going on. And if you find anybody that's there, man, tell them to call in on this number. We need some help. Okay, we will do. All right, send for it. And uh, also, when you do get there, if you do get there, uh, report to the chain of command, man. It's all about what the ranchers want and uh, his liaisons want as well, okay? All right. All right. Uh, I've got somebody that's been holding on for quite a while, so I'm going to move on. Okay. Uh, Illinois. Brian? Hey, Brian. Hey, what's up? Um, this is Dave up here in Chicago, and... Um, Sorry if there's any, any feedback. I'm actually the person from the Cosmic Voice Facebook group that is live streaming everything out right now. I have been since about 1 a.m. Central Time. Um, been live streaming through YouTube on the, um, on the Google Hangout. Um, my channel is Paradigm Shift Docs for You. That's D-O-C-S, the number four and the, the letter U. But um, I'm posting this stuff, obviously, in the Cosmic Voice um, Facebook group on, on Facebook and, you know, people can find it there. And, uh, you know, just wanted to say you're doing a good job and, um, you know, we're rooting for you here in Chicago, doing everything we can. Um, Cosmic Voice is a, a really great group of people. Um, my YouTube channel is, um, well, it's about paradigm shift and educational comedy, trying to get the truth out in a funny way. But don't worry, we're not sacrificing any goats. Um, but anyway, just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, if for the last few hours I've had between 20 and, and 35 um, people listening to the stream at any given time, so you can add that number to, you know, whatever your, your current number of listeners is that you're reading on your end, and, you know, if anybody wants to use, like, a video download helper for Firefox or something, then download, it, you know, this call from my channel and re-upload it to their channel you know, whatever else they want to do, um, you know, they're more than welcome to, you know, go ahead and do that, get the word out. And um, I'll, I'll do my best to, to make it tomorrow at 8 Central and uh, do this again. It's a bit of a Skype hodgepodge. It's coming out my speaker through the air in my room into my webcam mic and, and recording into this thing. So it's not a perfect connection, but it's the best I can do right now. Awesome, yeah, that's all I want to say. I just want to, to let you know people find that on Cosmic Voice and, um, you know, just want to let you know that you're doing a good job. And um, that's that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, mute out now. Hey, uh, I'm in Chicago. I just got kicked off the call, but I'm back on. Are you still there? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, that's weird. What's the last thing you heard me say? Uh, <laughs> uh, it was about 30 seconds prior to me getting back in. Um, it's about how long it took for me to get back. But uh, I just wanted to kind of chime in and say we're about 45 minutes apart. Um, I'm definitely aware of Paradigm Shift. Can you actually give that web address again? I just want to... Really? That I'm already, you're, you're already a subscriber on my channel? Um, I'm pretty sure because I've, I've seen a lot of things coming from Paradigm Shift. Can you verify the web uh, page for uh, Facebook? 
Um, paradigm shift, D-O-C-S, the number four and the letter U. Or you could do a search for just paradigm shift and educational comedy or do a search for the acronym PSEC, P-S-E-C. That's how I label the beginning of all my videos. You'll see like PSEC 2011, PSEC 2012, PSEC 2013, and well, it's 2014 now, so obviously you'll see PSEC 2014. Um, I kind of put things out comically, but I promise I am not sacrificing any goats to the Druids. Yeah, that was humorous earlier, yeah. Um, that, like I said, man, we're, we're both in Illinois. We're about 45 minutes from each other. I'd like to stay in comms just to maybe use that as a resource. Um, we are trying to create another avenue to be able to do this uh, simultaneously, so it looks like you're doing exactly what we're looking for. Um, yeah. You, uh, you, said as, you've um, heard me, you said you've heard of me on, I mean, you've seen my channel and stuff before? Uh, well, let me back up a little bit on that. A paradigm shift is being very used on the Internet right now, so I can only confirm that paradigm shift definitely rings a bell, but the DODS or your branch or your uh, PSEC, I can verify that that's the one that uh, I'm trying to recall right now, although paradigm shift obviously is uh, a huge term. if you were to search that on Facebook right now. So I, it might not be you exactly, but the paradigm shift I'm, I'm fully aware of. Uh, you know, there's a lot of groups out there that are, you know, among the uh, the Patriot realm that are also into uh, you know different uh, worldwide events that are ha happening and occurring in this uh, in, in this collective, so to speak. Um, did you need to step up and uh, say anything else there, Chicago? Uh, just um, if you want, um, I'm I'm Dave Kelso on Facebook, K E L S O. And um, later on, if uh, you wanted to add me as a friend or something, I'll, you know, I'll give you the, the link to this stream, any other, you know, information you want, you know, I'll, I'll give you my, my uh, main phone number and whatever, and we can go from there. But, um, you know, hit me up on Facebook later after, you know, you've gotten some sleep. And uh, you can you, you search for Cosmic Voice, that Facebook group, and uh, join yourself to that group, and, um, you know, you'll find me in there as well. All right, that's why I'm actually going to chime in eventually. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll touch base from that point on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open the door here, and uh, if anybody else wants to come forward, go ahead and press uh, star six right now, and uh, you'll be the next guy in the queue. So I appreciate you coming in here, uh, Chicago. Uh, you yep. sound like good people trying to do the right thing as well, man. So uh, you can add in, you know, keep um, we'll and uh, keep inviting people to the house. Yeah, cool. Um, we'll t we'll touch base later. I'm going to mute out now. All right. The force be with you. you. The will be with you. Thanks. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, bro. Uh, anybody else want to chime in with the star six? Uh, you'd be the next one in queue. I'm going to go ahead and disengage that last conversation. And uh, anybody else who wants to chime in? There's still like 60 people on this call. So uh, if there's anything anybody wants to speak up right now, you could press star six, and uh, you'll be the next person to talk. Oh, there you are again. I'm going to open you up. Uh, 0348, you're back on. I remember your last name. How you doing? 